Today, as the nation is reacting to a major Republican political shift, even President Obama is trying to make the best of a damaging election for Democrats. To everyone who voted, I want you to know that I hear you. To the two-thirds of voters who chose not to participate in the process yesterday, I hear you too. But here in Arizona, the Republican celebration continues with an expected sweep of the state's top races. And Cronkite News is looking into what changes Governor-elect Doug Ducey will bring to the executive office. Our reporter Michael Gordon joins us live with the outlook. Michael. Thank you, Chase. Well, during his run for governor, Doug Ducey's campaign highlighted his experience and his success as a businessman. Today, I spoke with a local business leader to ask how he thinks Ducey's victory will impact Arizona's economy. It's a big night. Oh, what a night. Congratulations, Doug. From his days at Arizona State working as a local distributor for Anheuser-Busch to becoming the CEO of Coldstone Creamery, Doug Ducey has found plenty of business success. I want to stand on the shoulders of your legacy and take this state to the next level. And Jeff Lascala, president of the Arizona Business Alliance, is hoping that Arizona's economy can reach that next level as Ducey takes over as governor. I hope he runs the state like a business. Uh, you can't spend what you don't have. Uh, you either have to increase sales, so to speak, to generate more revenue or reduce some of your expenditures. La Scala is confident in Ducey's economic plan to improve Arizona, even though it may produce some difficult decisions. And there are likely going to be some cuts to some things that uh, are unpopular. And as a businessman, you have to be able to stand up and take the criticism for those. Criticism that La Scala thinks Ducey can easily handle while enabling Arizona businesses to grow. With his history and what he's shown so far is he'll be able to stand up, take that criticism, and still make the right decisions for the state's best interest. But La Scala admits that he hopes Ducey refrains from earlier promises to cut taxes, choosing instead to focus on growing revenue for Arizona businesses. I would definitely leave taxes alone as they stand right now and find out a way or figure out a way to attract more business or help small businesses open here. We'll set Arizona on a better path in keeping with the values so many of us share, whatever our background, whatever our party. For La Scala and business owners across Arizona, the hope is that Ducey's path will lead to an improved economy. Now, one of Governor Ducey's biggest challenges as he enters office will be to cut in down into Arizona's looming budget deficit. That deficit currently stands at $400 million and is projected to reach about $1 billion by 2016. In the First Amendment Forum, Michael Gordon, Cronkite News.